of gold in California. It well, it's the most patriotic time of year, but a brand new Fox News poll is showing that most voters think the founding fathers would be frowning this 4th of July. And as we like to do from time to time, we go to country star Larry Gatlin for what he thinks about the state of our nation at a time when people are facing many challenges. So, Larry, let me get this right. You've come up with a grading system for Washington? I have a grading system. I don't do A, B, C, D, or F. Uh, mine is what I call B, D. I give them a big B, D. And it stands for bovine droppings because I can't say you know the other thing uh, even on cable you know can't say no fox uh, it's just total bs the way they my, my old grandma my granny Nida bernice willingham Dome had a second grade education she was born she was half breed cherokee she was born on a reservation near ida bell oklahoma she told me when i was a kid and she repeated she said larry don't ever forget when your outgo exceeds your income, your upkeep will be your downfall. She had a second grade education and she knew more than the people trying to borrow our way out of uh, a debt up at, uh, you know, uh, at the Pirates of the Potomac. So it's things like that. Um, I just believe we're in trouble because of things like that. We have no rudder. Uh, Alan Bloom, I, always, I quote people. I don't know a lot, but I read and I quote people. Alan, Professor Alan Bloom in the closing of the American Mind, he said, Absent the Judeo-Christian ethic, democracy will not work because people think that things are relative, there's no right and wrong, and that gives you the, the right to go and target people with whom you don't believe and then take the Fifth Amendment and say you didn't do anything wrong. So well, I, I, know I, that I just think we're headed for some real troubled waters. I know that you have your pulse on what many folks in the heartland are saying from your many concert tours around the country. Do they think that they're being heard at all in Washington? I was in a little place up in Wisconsin about two summers ago. I was in a little beer joint. I don't drink beer anymore, but I went in there because a lady uh, at the hotel told me it was a great place to get a steak. I went in there, and I'd been eating my steak for a couple of minutes, and a gentleman walked over and said, You're Larry Gatlin, aren't you? I said, Yes, sir. He said, what are we going to do? What do we have to do to get our country back? And I gave him some conservative Republican talking points. He said, I did all of that. He said, They don't hear us in the heartland. And I wrote... Uh, it's on foxnews.com, hopeless in the heartland. Here's a man who was feeding his family, working hard, and he thinks that nobody gives a rat's rear end about him. And I say to the American, to the bureaucrats in Washington, bovine droppings, again, you get a BD. So you think uh, we're going to see a lot of change come I, 2014 when the congressional elections start to, to un unveil, uh, un you know, roll out? I, I believe they will. Uh, you know, the, all the scam. People are finally realizing, even even some of the uh, the Democrats, the uh, uh, the folks like, who have lemming like followed this young president. Uh, they're beginning to realize that the emperor has no clothes. We've got a naked dude leading the parade. Uh, his his he he continually does things that are unpresidential. One right after the other. You know, I mean, not scrambling the jets. To go, I mean, come on, give me a break. That's so, un, you know, beer summit, you name it. Going to Africa for $100 million in the middle of all this, sorry. Really bad form, as the Brits would say. Well, Larry, it's always great to hear from you with your insights. I know that uh, you certainly have a very interesting point of view and colorful one at that. Thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate Thanks. it. Thanks. Thanks. That's the gospel according to Gatlin. There you go.